Hey guys, I'm Mike Alon from TravelCoastRicaNow.com. Hey guys, if anybody's thinking about moving here or coming here, one question always comes up. Should I bring my car to Costa Rica, ship it down, or should I buy a car in Costa Rica? I'm telling you, I've done the homework, not that you have to believe me, you can do your own. I'm telling you, don't bring your car here. Buy a car when you get here. Now, if you're rich, I'm not talking to you. You're going to do what you want anyway. Or if you love your car so much, you just have to have it down here. There's a few things to consider if you're going to ship. First, can they service your particular car? Do they have the parts here? Is your warranty good here? Will it, will it be in effect if you get in an accident or something? Is everything fine? Now, you've got to remember the import taxes are 52 to 79% import taxes. You know how high that is? And it's the value from the value of your car. Now, remember, the value of your car is not what you say it is. They have a Kelly book, but it's not called Kelly Blue Book. It's their own stuff, so they tell you what the value of the car is. You also got freight charges, right? Now, for every one person that may tell you, yeah, I brought my car down here, I shipped it down, it was no problem. For every one person that tells you that, there's nine people that say it wasn't that great. There's too many intangibles, too many people, uh, you know, touching your car, you know, you got the freight, you got the ship, it's coming over here, you gotta pick it up, you gotta go through all kinds of stuff. I don't think it's worth it. Now, the reason people consider it is because cars are expensive here. They're double the price, which is why people go, well, they're double the price. I'll save money by shipping it down. Well, when you start doing all the math, it's usually about the same. You know, it's gonna be, a, you, uh, one might be a little better than the other, but it's not, it's not enough for me to, to take all the intangibles to ship it down here. Now, so you wanna buy your car here, Hey man, there's CR Autos on the internet, there's Craigslist, there's Facebook pages from gringos that live here that are always selling stuff, people are always leaving, maybe you can get a good price. Um, maybe one of the best places is, is uh, the Spanish paper here because those are probably going to be your cheapest prices. You also got to remember there's uh, uh, paperwork involved here, a lot of paperwork when you buy a car. So you probably need a lawyer. Everybody kind of does it that way, so that's not a big issue, but there's a lot of paperwork. The lawyer will get you through that kind of quick. Now, as long as you do your homework, get a mechanic to go to check your car. Now, when me and Danzo were looking for a car, we went to, we went to about 20 of those little small, you know, uh, used car places. And we'd say, hey, how's this car? And they say, oh, it came from North Carolina. It's fine, you know, it only had one owner. We would check the VIN number on the internet. It would be a hurricane car. And that happened time and time again. So do not go to those used car places. Notorious to kind of rip you off or take advantage. Um, uh, we ended up getting uh, Danzo's car on CR Autos. It was double the price. What was 8,000 in the United States for a RAV4 for his year was uh, 16,000. Yeah, 16,000 here. But it's worth it. It's just the way it is here, guys. So I'm telling you, don't have, don't do the heartache and headache of trying to ship your car. Nothing but a hassle. Buy your car here. Final answer. I'm Mike Lowne, TravelCoastRiganow.com. Peace, guys. Hope it helps.